All right, winning the die roll, we would like to play first. And uh, this is a very keepable hand, I think. Very keepable indeed. Let's go ahead and start off with Temple Garden. Untapped, play our Step Links. And pass it back to our opponents. Evolve. I have not seen this deck in a while. Fearless Fledgling. I think that means we're going to play... Round. Always yield to step links there. We're going to play our Fearless Fledgling here, because why not? And we're going to get in for two. See what our opponent can evolve into. I think we need our flyer out to block this Cloudfin Raptor in case it gets real big. Spreading seas on our temple garden. All right, well, these things happen. Opponent does not get to evolve anything, so I guess that's good for us. Lightning Bolt seems... Pretty nice here as well. We can get rid of that Cloudfin Raptor if we so choose. Uh, I guess what is weird, so that means we're going to play our Plated Geopede here instead of the Brushfire Elemental, I suppose. Play our Wooded Foothills. I guess it doesn't really matter a whole lot because it's not like... Actually, yeah, we should have... I guess we should have, we could have gotten in one more point of damage if we had done it that way. So that was a mistake. We should have, we should have played in Crypt Fetch. Uh, but then we could have bolted. And I think we want to bolt. Can we just bolt right now. Yeah, let's just bolt right now just so we can get in the damage. This also represents more damage because uh, we're obviously going to. Uh, let's get our Sacred Foundry. Make sure we have white mana. Doop, doop. Doop, 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 doop. Alright, bolt, bolt the bird. So no blocks for our opponent. Get in there for seven. Got our opponent down to 11 here on turn three. Plays another island. Plays another Cloudfin Raptor. Acceptable. Acceptable. Plays a Judge's Familiar. Not too worrisome, that. So our opponent's going to be in jump block mode here, I think. Let's go ahead and play our Brushfire Elemental. Let's play a Wooded Foothills, because why not? Let's trigger every creature on the board. Alright, uh, Boil seems pretty darn relevant. And maybe Veiled Summer for counterspell things, I guess? Uh, taking out... Let's take out... A well, mm, I don't know. A removal seems good. Let's take out a GOP. Take out. Take out a Knight of the Reliquary. Take out a Brush Fire. I guess we're just like, kind of trimming things here. Take out a Coom Hellhound. All right, try it like that. I don't know about this hand. Mostly lands. Only one threat. We're on the draw. We got a mulligan this. This is better. We have boil. This is great. Um, I guess we'll put down plated geopede. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. All right, let's see what our opponent's deck can do. They're obviously having some sort of flyer theme, it seems like. A Coom Hellhound. Step 
Links. Don't you step to my links. Hmm, pay some bank. Opponent plays island. Harbinger of the Tide. Interesting. Interesting. So this is like mono blue devotion, perhaps? Perhaps. Okay, so we're going to get to our boil on time, which is great. Um, oh, I didn't think about the fact that I played planes and I should have played Temple Garden. Did we have Temple Garden? I'm going to pretend we didn't. Uh, and you in the comments can't say anything differently. Can't. Can't do it. Uh, in that case, I guess we're playing our stomping grounds. Untapped. Always yield. Let's go to combat. Attack. Block with your 2 2 opponent. Block! No? Fair enough. Uh, let's play our Akum Hellhound. And pass it back to our opponent. The Blacker Beast. Plays an island. We will not block. You are welcome to do your worst. Decides not to do their worst. Ooh. Stiplings. Vendelian clique happening. Oh no, they're gonna take our boil. They're gonna take our boil. What I wouldn't do for a Veil of Summer. I mean, it's got to be like a 100% boil, right? Like, there's no way they take anything else. They take the Brush Fire Elemental. Okay. And we get an extra step links. Uh, in which case, I guess uh, we will play... Temple Garden. Untapped. We do need a fetch land. Are we attacking here? They get to kill one thing if we do? I think we do it. Like, they kill one thing, we kill both things if they want to do it that way. Or we both just kill one thing, and then we refill with double step links into boil. Seems pretty okay to me. Yeah, and they just, they just take the damage. The damage. Okay. What's your plan against this boil opponent? Instant speed, too. Okay, plays Nykthos. So you have many manas. Many, many manas. Many, many manas. Don't tap out, opponent, though. Don't tap out. Unless you can do something crazy here. And they're only getting one mana with his nick, though, at the moment. Master of Waves. Okay. Okay. I mean, so you make some elementals. So now we need to bolt our path, which we did keep in. All of those things. Oh, I guess we don't need bolt. We need exactly path. Okay. Okay. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I see you, opponent. I see you. So we need path. There's not a path. Does it allow us to attack them? Okay. 
Let's see. Our opponent. We're at 11. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And they can block all four of our things. Killing. Killing one thing? No, not even one thing, because they get plus two, plus two. And they have to block all the things. I don't think they can kill us on the crackback. I mean, they could, like, if they double block or whatever, but then they're taking more damage, so... I think... I think we just attack here. It could be crazy. There could be something that goes horribly wrong here, and we die. Um... So they're gonna block there, really? Oh, because pro red. Sure. Do we do we mass now? I for, I always I forget this protection from red. <laughs> uh, so do we just die? Let's see, two, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, okay. So we're just dead. That was I was I was silly. I was I did the silly thing. Okay, so so now we know what's happening. This is a Nykthos uh Nykthos style deck here. Um so maybe we also bring in the ghost quarter cutting like horizon canopy maybe. Uh do we want to bring in anything else? Maybe Skyclave Apparition, just because Master is pretty hard to get rid of. Going down a bolt. And... Oh, we were so close to boil, too! Um... Let's see. I don't want to cut up too many things. I'm to cut the tireless tracker. Mm, I don't know. No, 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 no. All right, let's see how much being on the play helps. We have a boil. We have two two drops, two three drops. I'm gonna keep it. <sighs> <coughs> All right, I will play Sunbake Canyon. Pester. If we draw another land, I'd rather play that than the Arid Mesa, so we can crack Arid Mesa to increase the size of our things. Oh, that's rude. Seize Claim. Sure, it makes sense with the Devotion plan. I guess we were playing the Fearless Fledgling. Uh, we need all of our colors, so which one are we getting? We have to get white. White and red, or white and green? I, mm, I think it's white and green. Yeah, because we have so many things that we could play. So yeah, we'll pay two for that. We will tap this for blue, tap that for white. Play our fearless fledgling past the turn. I just don't spreading seize us this turn. And they did. And they did. They did do that. Okay, well. Oh, I didn't think about the fact that uh, boil does not work well with. Uh, spreading seas, seas claims, and things of that nature. That could be an issue. All right. Well, our opponent has uh, has 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 twisted our land a little bit, just a little bit. Plays a Nykthos. Okay, uh, Nykthos now tapping for only two though, so they're not gaining anything with it at the moment. Plays an Ether Isle, plays a Tidebinder Mage, passes it to us. Oh, jeez. <laughs> we 
Well, I I had high hopes for this deck uh, when I put it together because it seems like it has some real fun synergies, some good ideas in it. Uh, seeing other people play it, testing it out a little bit myself, seemed pretty good. Uh, but uh, my confidence is shaken a bit <laughs> here in round three. Confidence is shaken a bit. Was this the Master Night Vale Specter? Oh, sure, yeah, why not? Uh huh. Why wouldn't you do that? Why wouldn't you do that? No attacks, really. I can't. I can't do anything, opponent. You have, you have free attacks. Okay. Okay, so what does this potentially get us here? We have a Wooded Foothills. Always yell. Do we get red-white because we have two one-drops? I'm like, we can't play anything else? Do we go for our other Temple Garden? So we can potentially play some of our like like Renegade Rallyer would be great right now, really great. Mm. I think we gotta. As much as I want the Akuma Hellhound, I think we're just going for second Temple Garden. I'm really hoping we draw, I don't know, something else. I mean, I guess I guess if we'd gotten any other white source, we could have gotten our white red source there, and then we just need to draw a green source. I don't know. I know not. We're not going to attack here. I don't want that Night Vale Spectre stealing our lands and things and stuff. Cloudfin Raptor. Any attacks? No attacks. Okay, okay. So you're saying there's a chance. Skyclave Apparition is a great card. Unfortunately, not where we need to be. We just need lands. Just need lands. No attacks from us. Passing it back to our opponent. Yeah, what do you got in that little Pokeball? Tidebinder Mage. Number two, sure. Evolving the Cloudfin Raptor, also fine. Taking up to three on the vial. I assume. Yep. Ten. Ten mana off that Nixus. For Grand Architect, giving all of their creatures plus one, plus one. All right. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. And another Tidebinder Mage, which doesn't necessarily do anything. I yield to that. Cloudfin Raptor, now big. Man! Harbinger of the Tides! Sure. Why not? Any attacks? Yep, yep, yep. Um, <clears throat> three, six, nine, and twelve damage. Hmm, are we chump blocking here? I think we are. I think we're chump blocking with step links. Because we could potentially go grow the fearless fledgling to block some of these flyers, and I think we need to do that. When it gets one of our cards. Come on, fetch land. I haven't 
Though I don't even know at this point. Like, what are we? What are we? What are we hoping for here? Ghost quarter. Ghost quarter is interesting. So ghost quarter gets rid of one of these lands. We get to go fetch a land. Fetching a planes to get Renegade Rallyer out. We're down to five though. Like, can we even do anything still? Like, I think we have to play Knight of Autumn just to gain life. We can't even play Renegade Rallyer. But then I don't know that we have enough to block everything that's coming at us. No! We have the boil too. We have the boil. Do we boil just to, uh, just to show them? Just to, just to show them. We know what's up. Destroy their two lands. Um, yeah, I don't know if there's a way out of this. Because they have so many bodies. And Night of Autumn only gains us up to nine and gains a blocker. So we have two blockers, so then they still hit us for three, six, seven, ten. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know if there's a way out. Because Renegade Rallier gets back a land or gets back a creature. Nah, that, that about does it. That about does it. Well, um, we are going to we are going to do this. Um, wait, uh, cancel. We're gonna do this because we can. Okay, because I I I just I feel I feel like it's necessary. Yes, uh, we're gonna grab our mountain. And we're going to boil out of principle. That's right, opponent. That's right. What now? <laughs> All right, we'll see you in round four where hopefully, hopefully, we can actually win a game here. <laughs> see you next time.